So today, we're talking about the big one, the ACDC MP200i. This welder actually does it all. So we've offered multi-process machines for years, and they're always like a MIG welder with a little bit of TIG functionality and a little bit of stick functionality. You know, really nice MIG welder, kind of a compromise when you got the TIG. This machine finally has no compromises. We're talking about a full-featured AC TIG welder, DC TIG welder, MIG welder, and stick welder. Now when we're talking MIG, this thing's great up to 3 8 200 amp output, do anything you need on auto restoration. Now TIG, think of this like our TIG 200 LCD. The high frequency start means you don't have to dip your tungsten to get everything started. The foot pedal means you got precise amperage control. So as you're welding, especially aluminum, you're gonna have to come down on your heat as the material gets warm. It's got AC balance adjustment, AC frequency adjustment, it's got pulse. Does everything DC, does everything AC. You can also adjust your post flow. Basically all the features you need in a professional TIG welder, this has got it. Now stick, if you ever need to stick weld, it'll do it no problem. We even include the electrode holder, so you got everything you need to get started. Additionally, this machine, it's got two gas systems. So you've got an independent MIG system and an independent TIG system. You can go from MIG to TIG with just the flick of a switch. When you switch your process, it knows which gas solenoid to fire. So when you look at this machine, it's got a lot of the same features as our other multi-process welders. It's sized just like our MP250i. It's designed to hold both those bottles. It's got a built-in cart. It's got some storage hooks, and you can hold filler rod in the back. It's dual voltage. You can run it off a generator. Basically, it's got all that same latest, greatest inverter technology that we've been putting into our welders the last couple of years. It's got a three-year warranty, and it'll last for years to come. So when we designed this machine, we really wanted to size everything right for the application that our customers going to be using it. When we're thinking auto restoration and automotive metal fabrication, we're looking at torches that are as compact as they can be while still holding up to that 200 amp output. That's why we chose the WP17 Flex Head Torch. Really lets you get into any spot you need and it's got a gas lens kit day one. We've got our same MIG torch that we run on like our MIG 180. These are really nice to hold up to the 200 amp output just fine, but they're smaller. They let you get into tighter spots. Really good when you're working underneath a car. Same ground cable that we've been using for years. Got a nice electrode holder, and it even includes our upgraded rocker style foot pedal. You know, we listen to our customer feedback, and over the years, not everybody loved our old gray foot pedal. This is a definite improvement when you're working at a bench. It's a little bit larger, but it is a lot more comfortable. So we're going to show you how to use this today. We're going to weld up a Jeep bumper. We're going to set it up for TIG and MIG. Let's get into it. So here's a feature that's really cool. The fan only runs when it's needed. Makes your shop a whole lot quieter. You're not listening to that thing droning all the time. So with this 3 16 plate we're welding up here, I'm going to run at 18 volts and 280 inches per minute. Start there, we can adjust as needed. It's real easy to adjust this, and then when it stops blinking, it'll actually switch over to inches per minute. You need to then fine tune that. So this is a center section on a Jeep XJ winch bumper. We pick up these kits pretty affordably online. They're real easy to weld. It's a really fun project. Uh, it's all 3 16 steel plate, and the way that they work, you just kind of bend them up over the edge of your bench, and then you can weld everything together. These open corners, really nice to practice on. So we're going to start with MIG, and we'll switch over to TIG as well, see how it does. All right, so we MIG'd up a good part of this, got the frame sort of laid out. Let's try the TIG out. Let's work on some of these end caps, which work out really nice, give us a really nice look. We're just gonna go from MIG over to DC TIG. We're gonna switch our polarity real quick. So we're all set up, running about 180 amps, 330 second electrode, 330 second filler rod. Let's kick this off. Well, there you have it. We were able to both MIG and TIG on this bumper with this ACDC MP200i. And the nice thing about this machine is you can also TIG aluminum. This machine has no compromises. It's a full featured TIG welder as well as a competent MIG welder and it'll stick. For more information about that machine, check it out at eastwood.com.